Hi, and welcome to this video where we're going to be discussing the advanced information that has just been uh, released to candidates. So this information is a one-off thing. It's only happening in 2022, and it's basically telling you what's going to be on your A-level biology exam. Um, so this is going to be really, really useful for your preparation, and I'm going to talk to, a little, talk to you a little bit about how to use it uh, and what you should do to prepare. So the first thing that I want to mention is that you still need to revise all the content, as everything may still come up. So the whole syllabus can be assessed, but it's most likely that it's going to be in one markers or two markers, most likely in multiple choice questions. Um, so make sure you've studied everything, but then of course, know the topics that they've given you really, really well, like the back of your hand. Um, and finally, you should practice PAG style questions. So these are questions about practical skills, and, and that's really, really important um, in a, f uh, a few key areas which I'm going to talk to you about. So this is the information here. Biological processes, biological diversity, and unified biology. Those are the three papers you're going to be doing. Um, so the information is also given in a rank order of importance. So the very first bullet point here, plant and animal responses, there's going to be loads of marks for, that, for questions on that unit respiration, loads of marks, and so on, maybe a few less marks by the time we get down to biological membranes. So really, really make sure that you know these top areas well for each paper. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to focus on is where it says practical skills. So here, respiration includes practical skills. Biological membranes includes practical skills. Cloning and biotechnology, same thing. Biodiversity, same thing and plant and animal responses, same thing. So this means that you're probably going to get questions on a specific PAG. So respiration, the two different PAGs that it might be, is it could be the respirometer PAG. So that is um, basically like measuring gas uh, absorbed by a respiring organism. You can measure the oxygen absorbed uh, and measure its respiration over a certain amount of time. It could be to do with calculating the respiratory, quoti respiratory quotient. So that's RQ values. It could be about that. Or it could be something to do with yeast. Okay, Because yeast, we can um, measure yeast respiration. We can do it in aerobic conditions and anaerobic conditions. Um, and again, that might be using some sort of respirometer. Or it might be using something called a hemocytometer, which um, counts the number of cells of yeast there are um, in different flasks and different solutions. Okay, so that's respiration PAGs. Biological membranes, there's loads of things that you could do for this in terms of PAGs. It could be experiments to do with beetroot, okay, looking at the membrane of the beetroot cells and how the beetlein pigment leaks out of the cell. So it could be that. It could be stuff to do with potato. Um, so looking at potato cores, seeing if they increase in mass or decrease in mass when they're in different solutions to try and work out what is the concentration of, let's say, sugar in the potato cells. You've got that kind of graph uh, where it crosses the x-axis like that and you know that this point here is the, let's say, the sugar concentration of the potato cells. Or it potentially could be something to do with like visking tubing um, and looking at osmosis or, or diffusion into or out of visking tubing. I suppose it could also be about diffusion actually. It could also be about could be about how surface area affects the rate of diffusion, less likely because I think that comes up mainly in the exchange surfaces unit, so less likely. Cloning and biotechnology, the key one here is basically experiments to do with microbiology. So, um, so that's how do you do aseptic technique, aseptic technique is really important. And also things like dilution plating. So how do you do a serial dilution of bacterial cultures and then use that to estimate the number of um, bacteria in a, in a sample? Biodiversity, we're talking about all, all types of sampling. So that could be quadrat sampling, could be a line transect or a belt transect. Um, or, yeah, it's probably, probably going to be one of those ones. Um, and plant animal responses. Uh, this is most likely to do, well, it could be to do with plant responses, so experiments to do with auxin and phototropism. It could be experiments to do with heart rate. So how does exercise affect human heart rate? Or it could be experiments to do with looking at, let's say, Daphnia heart rate, little water fleas. 
So make sure that you can uh, you understand all those PAGs really well, uh, and maybe ask your teacher to provide you with PAG questions based on that. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to talk to you about is what I'm giving my students, which is this. So, and I'm going to put all these links um, underneath the video description, and I'm also going to share you the link for this PowerPoint. So here is a link, uh, a list of hyperlinks for activities you can do to prepare for the Biological Processes paper. So for each of the topics that has been given to us, I've given you um, a link to a mind map, so that's one of the mind maps on my channel, um, and links to either practice questions from either Save My Exams, you do need to pay for that, or uh, physics and Massachusetts questions, you don't need to pay for that. Uh, but there are other sites available as well. Um, I think um, Study Mind is another good one that my students recommend. So uh, if you were to work through all these videos, do all these things, you'd be really well prepared for the biological processes exam. Uh, and I have also included in this PowerPoint below um, all of the kind of blank mind maps, which if you can, you should print in A3 uh, and use those to kind of um, to make your mind maps. OK, um, so if you do all that, you're going to be really well prepared. I will produce another one of these videos later on, uh, sooner, closer to the exams, where I'm going to have the same sort of thing for the two other papers. That's the Biological Diversity paper and the Unified Biology paper. Uh, and keep, keep an eye out for sort of more detailed predictions coming up in a, in a few weeks' time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.